Hi everyone, I'm Lisa White, the Director of Education at the University of California Museum of Paleontology. And we have you here at the Museum of Paleontology because I wanted to better illustrate some of the fossil zones in the virtual experience called Explore Fossils. So what I'm going to do is just highlight uh, some of the namesake fossils from each of the zones. The Echigoing Formation is one of the units in the Kettleman Hills that's very rich in fossils. And one of the first zones that is introduced in the virtual field experience is called the Patinopectin Zone. And Patinopectin are a kind of scallop. So here's a shell, it's a, it's a bivalve. Uh, and it has a distinctive shell uh, with these ridges that is easy to recognize. Sometimes when we find the shells, they might be broken, uh, as you can see with these, but there's enough of the, the features that are distinguishable that we know when we're in this zone. And in general, uh, zones are named for characteristic fossils and they're named for a fossil that might be common um, just in that zone. But there are other kinds of fossils that you usually find associated uh, with, the, with the zone. And so some of these might include, this is a mussel shell. So Middleus is the name of the genus. It's a kind of California mussel from five million years ago. And sometimes we find them even larger in size. So at any one time in the geological past, you had mussels as large as this or as small as this size. So these are just some of the things that we find in the patinopectin zone. Uh, there are also barnacles. So they have really characteristic shells. Um, oftentimes they will cement onto other shells. In fact, we have an example here of uh, barnacles that have attached to a larger patinopectin shell. So that's an example of, of bioerosion or when shells encrust or attach or cement um, to another shell. So these are just some examples from one of the oldest of the fossil zones in the Echigoing Formation in the Kettleman Hills. And next we're going to look at another zone um, that's a little bit younger in time from the patinopectin zone. And the next zone is...